I'm gonna go home and see Chuck. Last time he came, I was home already and I was waiting for him. This time, technically speaking, he could be home and waiting for me. Kind of cool. There we are. So, how you doing, folks? It's your old pal, Mike Cayley7 here. With each one of these videos, I'm not sure if it actually is going to work. I haven't yet figured out my microphone situation. Sorry about the wind noise. Saw a couple of videos recently that were interesting. I just love watching my British counterparts in their vlogging, like uh, Squeak and uh, I can't remember the other guy's name now. They're, they're just, they just sound so elegant. It's just that accent and the stereotype we have of that accent now. is a cluster. Okay. So, um, the British that I've seen, the Englishman, basically, that I've seen, sounds so elegant because that British accent in American culture is just, it's meant to sound that way, you know, it's, you see all the upper crusties with that on British television and whatnot, and in the movies are always the evil guy, or uh, the professor, or the queen, or the king. So you could basically have some guy that's like a trash truck driver, would sound way more elegant than our most well-spoken American. It's because of the way the stereotypes are. If you think about it from a, an objective standpoint, American English and British English both just sound like a series of clicks, whistles, and beeps to people who don't know the language. In that case, it just depends on your own personal ear, you know. Maybe you think that Irish sounds the best, Irish English. All right, let's see. He didn't even realize I'm looking at him. <laughs> So, uh, I wonder how Americans sound to people around the world, to Brits and to Australians and such, if we sound uh, a certain way, you know, what's the stereotype of, of the American accent? Is it that you think we're all cowboys? Because we're not. I was on a horse twice my entire life. Closest I've ever seen a, a Ponderosa is at a restaurant, maybe, with a picture of it on the wall. I think British people think that Americans are all cowboys or mafiosi, from what I've seen, anyway. Or religious rednecks, maybe. In that case, they might not be too far off. Oh, watch out here. Lovely day, yes. Such a lovely day to speak with a British accent. 
don't know if you knew this, but I lived in Arundel, West Sussex for a wonderful period of six months. Actually, it was horrible. My heart was shattered. It was rightly screwed I was. Sorry. My British accent sucks. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, what do you Brits think of the American accent? Do you like it? Does it make you happy? <laughs> Does it make you horny, baby? My, uh, my friend, his video was called Talking Crap, and then being yelled at, basically, by a foreigner. No camera! No camera! You go now! That's funny. But the, the Talking Crap part was just almost insane, like, call the doctor insane, like, your cheese done stood up, your cracker, my man. The elevator don't go all the way up, kind of thing. But it was funny. I'll give you that. It's very funny. I hope you're not seeing this cable. The wind is blowing up my cable. A cable! A cable! I have my microphone facing the other way. Maybe that will help. I don't know. I was watching Doctor Who last night. Uh, the time of the doctor and the name of the doctor, I think it's called, or the day of the doctor. Anyway, it was the, the big, the big climactic 50-year thing, and then the other big climactic uh, regeneration thing. I've already watched them a couple of times, and I watched them again last night just to keep myself, you know, keep it in my head memory-wise, waiting for the new Doctor Who to come out in August. God, I love that show. My doctor was Tom Baker. He was my doctor. With his long scarf and his fedora and his mellifluous voice. Apparently in British Telecom, there was a time when you could actually type something in as a text message and it would read out in the wonderful dulcet tones of Tom Baker. That would be cool. Dear Margaret, I have spanked the monkey precipitously today and am now going to pour ice cream on my genitals. Have a nice day, peachy. <laughs> oh, crazy. Oh, his bike was loud one. Loud one. Oh, Mikey. Shifting it a bit weird today, I think. I'm on my way home, I'm on my way home. It's a beautiful day, folks. I'm wearing my special summertime jersey. Apparently it's supposed to keep you cool. So far so good. I don't feel hot. It wicks away moisture. Well, folks, I don't really have a whole lot to say. I don't know if I said anything at all. But uh, in case the video is not interesting for the rest of the journey here, I wish you a good day. Good day, sir! Be safe out there. I'll talk to you later. Little Bostonian accent for you there. I don't normally get into this accent. But I figure since today's an accent day, I'll do a little bit of the accent where I'm from. It's the way the people I grew up with talk. Or used to talk anyway. I don't know how they talk anymore. But this is the Boston accent right here. 
As an English teacher, I can't really use this accent. It doesn't sound intelligent. It makes you sound stupid, even if you're not. Here we are, home. Chuck's motorcycle should be here somewhere. <gasps> there it is. There it is. It is there. Oh, lovely. Lovely. I shall pull in here. Yes. I think that'll work. That'll work nicely. I just want to give him extra space. I hear doggies. I hear poochies. Puppies! What are you doing? What are you doing, piss bag? What are you doing? Oh, look at my little shit machines. All right, let's get inside the house here and say hello to Chuck. Hey, Chuck. Good to see you. Last time you greeted me at my house. I mean, uh, this time you greeted me. Last time I greeted you. Yeah. You said you treated <laughs> like it was your own, so I moved in. Exactly. <laughs> and I'm evicted. Nice to be back. Thank you. Nice. Thank you very much. Good to see you. <laughs>